Greetings, dear ones. My name is Drac16, and thank you for joining me for another video. I wanted to talk today about anger, and it seems that, you know, stress and anger is at an all-time high in this world. It's unfortunate, but, uh, you know, the Bible does have some things to say about it. Um, in Romans 12, verse 21, as I recall, it says to overcome evil or overcome bad with good. So it's like we're like firefighters in a sense when, who goes into a burning building. We're to rescue people, but we're also called to put out that fire with, you know, uh, fire hose and water and stuff like that. So, uh, and Jesus said that we're like salt in a sense. Now, what people would do in Jesus' day is that they would put a lot of salt on their meat, and it would prevent the meat from decomposing. And in a sense, that's what we're called to do, to let our light shine, to prevent this meat or this world from going rotten. And so, uh, you know, we're to overcome the miser by giving to overcome the angry person with patience, to overcome the cold person with love. So, yeah, and you know, you might say, well, but Drek, you don't understand how this person really hurt me. You're right, I don't understand that, but God calls us to be loving regardless of what that person's intention was. And it might not even happen that they'll even apologize, because let's face it, there are some people who will never apologize, no matter how clear it was that they were wrong. They'll just never do it. So should we forgive people as soon as they apologize? Well, it shouldn't come to that. We should forgive them before they apologize. And that's very important. Uh, you know, again, Romans 12 says that Leave it, leave your anger to the wrath of God. He's going to decide what to do with that person on judgment day. Instead, we're to love, we're not to take things into our own hands by punching a guy in the nose or swearing at our parents or, you know, just acting out in fits of anger. But with that said, though, not all anger is bad. Jesus got angry in a few cases. He cleansed the temple after their people were doing some corrupt business practices. And he called his enemies dogs, swine, sons of hell, vipers, and hypocrites. So anger isn't always a bad thing, but the Bible says, be angry and sin not. So how do we know when anger is excessive? Well, it's excessive when it causes you to sin. You see, Jesus told his enemies what they needed to hear. So he wasn't just name-calling for any reason at all. He, was, he had to make a strong point that, they, that their actions were in fact leading them to hell. So he had to wake them up. So we're in, I think, Romans 12, 21, we're to overcome evil with good. Because hatred never goes away by hating. And unfortunately, that's what we see in our world. A lot of hatred, a lot of anxiety. Depression is at an all-time high. And I think that one of the reasons for that is because we're holding on to resentment. We're holding on to this anger. Oh, man, you can't understand why this guy did that to me. You can't understand why that guy cut me off in traffic. But we're to love. We're to love people. That's what God would have us do. So, um, yeah, that's just been a brief video that I've made about anger. Remember to pray for your enemies. Bless those who persecute you. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I hope that all of you have a wonderful day. God bless you.